I'm exploring Murray and Stewart Quarry. This tunnel looks rather dilapidated. Concrete has spalled and it all looks as if it could just collapse any moment now. Just have a look at the webbing of that I-beam that's already buckled. There are two sides to this tunnel. I don't know what it was used to transport. Here we have some more concrete damage. I can imagine, I can just imagine the reinforcing rods to be completely rusted here. Here we have more of a webbing that's bent and buckled. Somebody seems to have tried to tie something to it and these, these nuts look rather rusted. Again another pillar that's that's as good as non-existent. And here we have yet more of a bent webbing. This looks like surface rust. There aren't yet any big chunks missing. But I'm sure as we explore, we'll find some more evidence of decay, such as here. You can just see how the load is redistributing itself. I wonder if these vertical steel beams have been installed after the concrete, perhaps as an afterthought to stabilize what's left of the tunnel. More concrete having spalled. And that looks like steel sheeting in the roof. Here we've obviously had some sort of some sort of collapse. It looks like it's come from above, but I can't see any purpose to this window. There's my dog Fissy trying to look for things. And here we get to some real concrete damage. These reinforcing bars are completely exposed. Concrete is broken off. And here you can just see the layers and layers of rust. There's, I feel a little uncomfortable just standing underneath all this. I wonder what makes this part so much more corroded than anything else. There's your answer. Moisture. Oh wow. Here we're just completely missing the I-beam. I don't think this pillar is really contributing much at all at the moment. nor this one and I guess somebody's installed a hook to hang their clothes up by there's the other side of the tunnel I imagine this was some sort of transport tunnel to get the rock out and here's the quarry itself There's still water here. Uh, and some people. Yeah. You can just imagine how many cubic meters of rock have been quarried here. There's a there's a little railway track down on the left side there, but I won't go there right now. Or I won't film it.